All right, today I want to go over the uh, Empire Elite 100 as a hybrid uh, wood electric boiler. This unit has the option of having four 4.5 kW electric heating elements uh, installed in this unit, either from the factory uh, or as an option. <clears throat> what that does is it allows electric to be the backup if you're going away. So basically you'd have 18,000 watts of uh, heating power for this unit. And uh, I'm going to go over this kit a little bit for you. You have the heating elements, then you have a whole other panel uh, that comes with this and you can select uh, wood on electric on. You set this control panel back here, it would mount in the back back here, uh, for the temp you want the electric to come on at. And with the wood switch in the on position, wood would be the primary source. If it ran out of wood, electric would back up at whatever you had set on this. Uh, if you were going away and you just wanted to keep the thing warm, uh, and use the electric, you could shut the wood switch off and electric would do. If you didn't want the electric on at all, uh, you could leave it like this and then the front control panel would control everything. This comes a complete kit, already wired, all your relays, uh, the wiring harness, that whole aspect. Uh, and you get the heating elements. There's four of these elements, and in the back here, there's four ports uh, that you take the plugs out, and you can put this heating element inside there. I'll zoom in on that a little bit. Maybe you can see the... Uh, that's the plug. I've loosened this one up, so you basically take all four of these out, and then the electric heating element would go up inside and uh, there'd be four of these. That panel would go on, uh, gives you the wiring harness, everything goes up inside there, and it becomes a hybrid unit uh, with 18,000 watts of heating power to back up your uh, wood. So that's a, that's a neat deal. And then uh, I want to talk a little bit today about the wood uh, the wood boiler and corrosion. Uh, Profab has gotten with Certified Labs. Certified Labs makes this product especially for our boilers. Uh, and they stand with us on standing behind our warranty. And I'm not sure if you can see these or not, but I've got a couple of samples that Certified Labs gave us. The metals that we indicate on our uh, boiler and what would be in the typical system, there's some samples of those inside. This is a treated sample. Uh, this sample is well over a year old. These metals look like they're brand new. And this is a sample of untreated, same chemicals, uh, and I don't know if you can see, but inside there, the metals are corroding and deteriorating. And on the bottom of this jar is the sediment uh, of that byproduct of that corrosion. So when I stir that up, you can see that's what untreated water corroding the metals will do. Uh, so, this product is highly recommended. Uh, it keeps you protected by having a good, uh, a good treatment in there. And it keeps us protected by having our product stay the way that it's supposed to stay. You can see how crystal clear that is, and I don't know if you can see the metals in there uh, at this stage or not, but that's, uh, that's a, little, a little info for you on 
water treatment. So again, the, uh, the Empire Elite 100 and the backup uh, heat option. One other option I want to discuss with you is uh, we have a leg extension kit that you can get with these and it'll give you uh, about seven inches more of height. What makes that nice, this unit's on a pallet right now and this pallet is actually uh, about seven inches. So for me, with the leg extension kit, it would put the boiler at this height when you're at the other side of it. It makes the load door a nice height to be able to put the wood inside the boiler and not have to bend down. So it makes that door seven inches higher. Uh, it's a complete kit, comes with the legs, uh, some support brackets that go across between them. Uh, but basically that's just about the height that you'd raise the unit up uh, if you bought this kit. I think it's, it's like a hundred bucks or something. To me it's well worth it. That puts the, the load door at just the right height. So those are some options if, if you already have an Elite and you'd like to make it a hybrid. Uh, we have those kits available. Uh, if, if you'd like to raise yours up to get the, the door at the height that makes it a little easier to load, we have those kits available too.